video here of how to make a house plan or copy a footprint from a PDF or an image in SketchUp. So, got a blank project here. So, um, we are going to import our house plan. This can be a PDF or... Um, in my case, I just found a plan on the internet and took a screenshot of it, so we will import that. Uh, you put it at the origin and just uh, place the document. And so now we have to scale it. So what you want to do is find one of these longer sections and make a line. So. That one should be 94 feet. Oh, that's not, not what I meant to do start again so you want to trace this line that's 94 feet you want to get it as accurate as possible on the picture then you use your tape measure tool and you have to hit option or control if you'll see there's a little plus below the tape measure you don't want that and then you measure the line you just drew and enter 94 feet and it'll ask you if you want to resize you hit yes and then that will scale your image for you and then you can delete the line so I like to also get people in the habit of making groups and layers um, so we will make a layer or they're now called tags um, so we will call this one a uh, plan and then what that allows you to toggle things on and off so we'll move this um, to the plan and you can see you can turn it on and off so um, next we want to start tracing out the footprint and so here we are going to use we're going to want to find a dimension that's easy to start with um, so it looks like this corner over here and you don't want to actually try to trace on top you want to use the numbers but it makes it nice when you import the photo and then you can see them well so we went eight foot then four foot then we have a six foot five and 11 foot 7 now you'll see you want to follow the right plane so you'll see the red showing up there and then once you get it going that direction then you just type in the value that you want and continue doing that all the way around um, I chose this one because it's uh, not just a um, square house and so it can kind of give you an idea of even doing complex shapes how easy it can be All right, 
right, so just, uh, sorry this house is complicated and a little time consuming, but uh, just got to continue tracing around everything. About halfway there, or a little more now. Once you get the hang of it, it's really not that hard um, to just continue tracing around and remembering to keep everything in the right uh, plain, like I said, uh, you'll see the red or green lines typically to know you're going the right direction. And now we're getting to the end. Uh, what you can do here is just to confirm everything lines up is make sure down in the bottom here you'll see on the length that says eight foot so everything all my lines should be correct up to this point um, and there you go and so um, once again we will make this a group so you can draw on top of it and edit and it's a good time to just uh, make a copy of this um, so that you can use that, say, for a basement or an upper level as a template. So um, we put that on the base. Um, we'll click in and make a copy of the footprint. And turn this off and go up and do edit, paste in place. And so we're exactly in the same spot. Um, this one will say we've got two by six uh, exterior walls. So use your offset tool um, and you enter in six inches and then you can delete the middle part. Uh, we can pull it up, say it's nine feet tall We'll want to make this a group and also put it on its own layer. So we'll say exterior first floor. And there we go. We can turn that on and off. So then we would do the same things with the interior walls. So interior here. We will start with this wall that looks like it meets up here. So we'll go six foot nine. This looks like a two by six wall. So we'll make our rectangle. Since we made this a group, nothing, the geometry doesn't attach to it. Um, interior walls are often easier to do this. Uh, go ahead and make your wall the height um, and then we will use the push pull tool uh, hitting the option so the plus comes up next to it and uh, create your adjoining wall so this looks like a two by four wall and then we can push it over
So there's our first room. Uh, you can go around and erase uh, where it joins. Make it look a little nicer. then just continue the process Alright, so I'll just quit there. I think you guys get the picture. Um, so we'll want to make these groups as well and go ahead and put them on their own. layer so that we are able to uh, then hide and show those and then obviously you can go back and add your doors and do anything um, so as you can see sometimes it'll be off from the way it scaled but I would go ahead and try to use the numbers as best as possible and obviously depends on the level of accuracy you really need. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.